Hi guys, it's Emma. Today I have a book review on The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. It's kind of got some new age themes and his historical themes and even a bit of archaeology in it. I don't know, it's really cool. It's kind of a mix of all that kind of stuff and it uh, deals with this girl named Blue. She is not psychic, but everyone else in her family is. And she has been kind of told growing up her whole life that if a non-seer, such as herself, sees, the sees a spirit on St. Mark's Eve, then that means she's either going to kill him or that he is her true love. So one night she sees a spirit of a guy um, who she knows and she kind of comes into contact with these four boys from this um, all boys school in her, in her town. And with them, they kind of go on this adventure together. Um, the boys themselves are looking for something. This is where the archeology span kind of comes in. They're kind of on a quest of their own. So through that, they all kind of come together and just kind of goes from there. I gave this book five stars. It was really good. I, for, especially for a young adult book, this is like the first young adult book that I've read and that I've absolutely loved. Because not only was the story really cool and just full of twists and stuff, the writing was really good, like the best YA writing I've, I've read so far, and which was a really nice surprise because a lot of y, YA writing or just writing t today in general is just going downhill, so it was really nice to read something that was written really really well as well as had a really gripping story. It's told in third person and it kind of goes back and forth between different perspectives of the four boys as well as Blue and as well as other characters. I really liked all the characters in the book so that was another plus because there's always at least one character or more than one character and usually it's the protagonist who I end up like really hating by the end of the book but I actually I really like all of the characters in this book. They're all really well developed and really well characterized like they all have their own little personalities like it, it's, it's written very well and they're all put together very nicely. It was a very refreshing modern read and it's a very atypical YA book like there was no cliched like tropes in it or anything like that um, and I really didn't know what to expect from it and so that was that was very refreshing. I really loved the supernatural kind of magical realism that's in it um, and I love anything that's kind of new age theme so I really loved that and plus I'm an anthropology student and the whole archaeological kind of aspect on it, like this whole thing where the boys on their quest looking for this this thing, that was really cool um, for me to read as an anthropology student. I thought it was going to be like a love story or something just from the back of the book, like the whole like either he's your true love or you kill him, that whole thing, but it's, it, it's kind of skimmed over that for now, which is nice because I thought it was going to be like some whiny kind of love story or triangle like love triangle or something which I really hate but it hasn't really I mean it, it's definitely in there there's definitely some romance aspects in it but thank god it's not the focus of the book the focus is more on the mystery and the supernatural new age kind of stuff the writing style was very interesting and very unique and just very re refreshing as well this, this whole book was just refreshing um, but yeah, the, like the writing style just it flowed really well and I just really like the narration in it. Also, this has like one of the best last lines that I've read in like forever. Yeah, it's such a surprise at the end, like the last line, just how it ends. It's just, it sets it up really well for the next book. So that is my review of The Raven Boys. Uh, I hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed. If you liked it as well or want to comment below what you thought of it, that'd be awesome. And thanks for watching.